Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to another SPSS tutorial on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a look at the Friedman's test, which is the non-parametric version of the repeated measures ANOVA. So what this basically means is that we're going to have a look at respondents which were measured multiple times over time uh, and that the data is not normally distributed. So if the data is normally distributed, then you can have a look at the repeated. If it is normally distributed, you can do the regular uh, repeated measures ANOVA. But if your data is not normally distributed, for example, because the sample size is really small, in this case, it's only 10 respondents, then you can take a look at the Friedman's test. So we can see that the data set consists of three variables, beginning, midway, and end. And it was to measure depressive uh, so depression symptoms over time during a therapy uh, treatment. So how high your uh, depression was at the beginning of therapy, the, in the middle of therapy, and at the end of the therapy sessions. So what we're going to measure is that we're going to go to analyze, non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, and then K-related samples. Then the test variables is going to be beginning, midway, and end. And at statistics, you can select descriptives. And the test type is automatically, uh, it selects uh, the Friedman test. So then we press paste. And then you select the, in the syntax screen, you select the code and press the big green play button. And then you get the descriptive statistics. And you can see if you take a look at the means that at the beginning, the mean depression was 7.8. Midway it was 7.4 and at the end it was 5.1, so it had a, a steep decline. Then if you go to the test statistic, we can see that the chi-square was 14.895. But of course the most, important, uh, the most important value is the significance value, which is 0.001, which is way smaller than the alpha of 0.05. So we can conclude that yes, there is a significant difference between the timestamps. But of course, we want to do a post hoc test to discover which of those uh, timestamps significantly differ with each other. Because right now, we only know that the three of them differ. But we don't know whether the difference, the significant difference is between one and two, or between two and three, or between one and three. So we're going to do a Wilcoxon's signed rank test. So if we go to analyze, non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, and then this time the two related samples, so the one above that, then the first pair is going to be mi uh, beginning and midway. The second one is going to be midway and end. And the third one is going to be beginning and end. And the test type is going to be the Wilcoxon signed rank test. Then we press paste. Then we go to the syntax screen, we select the code, and then we press the big green play button. And then over here, you can see all the ranks. If you need information on these ranks, how the mean rank works, how the sum of ranks work, uh, then I uh, recommend going to episode 43, because over there I uh, explain the Wilcoxon signed rank test in detail. I'll explain how the mean ranks work. For this episode, I won't discuss it. Uh, and then if we go to the, uh, if we go to the signed rank tests, then we can see, uh, if we go to the test statistic, then we can see that the first, so the beginning to the mi uh, beginning to midway is not significantly different. That the uh, midway to end was significantly different. And that the uh, beginning to end is significantly different as well. So between one and two, there's no significant difference. Between two and three, it was significant. And between one and three, it was significant as well. So if we take a look at the descriptives from before, we could see that the mean were 7.8, 7.4, and 5.1. Well, apparently 7.8 and 7.4 don't significantly differ, but 7.4 and 5.1 do significantly differ and 7.8 and 5.1 do significantly differ. Okay, uh, so that's how you perform the Friedman's test on SPSS. Uh, if this information was useful to you, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel because more statistics videos are on their way. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.